Hello, I'm Brian Tarran, Head of Data Science Platform at the Royal Statistical Society. And in this series of short videos, we're previewing some of the papers and sessions at the upcoming RSS conference in Aberdeen. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Lorna Orcott, a Senior Research Fellow in the Health Services Research Unit at the University of Aberdeen. Hello, Lorna, how are you? Hello, Brian. Yes, no, thank you. Good, 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 thanks. Um, and uh, thank you for getting in touch. Well, thanks for joining us. So, Lorna, you've helped uh, organise a, a very apt session, I think, given the location of this upcoming conference. And the session is titled A Whistle Stop Tour of Historical Statisticians in the Highlands. So this video, I guess, is essentially a whistle stop tour of that whistle stop tour. Uh, and the session's on, uh, it begins at 3.20 p.m. on uh, Thursday, 15th of September. So what I really want to find out uh, and ask you is what can delegates expect from the, the talks uh, on offer in this session? OK, so um, we're, what we're hoping is for delegates to realise that people from the northeast of Scotland had a really important role in the emergence of statistics at all. That's looking at the more ancient history side of things um, and how this was capitalised uh, with relatively modern aspirations and realisations since the 1900s here in Aberdeen. Um, and, and what we're, we're planning to do is take you through that journey um, of, of how statistics sort of emerged as a department here in Aberdeen. And it's important in terms of um, particularly with respect to sort of databases and things like that. Um, so I, I think people are going to be, well, I was surprised. There. I'm sure other people would be too. Excellent. So um, I, I'm looking at the abstract uh, that's on the on the conference program. You mentioned that you're going to pick out quite a few statisticians, some names I'm familiar with, people like William Playfair, um, uh, who was obviously very influential in the sort of development of data visualisation. Um, and there's some un unfamiliar names to me as well. So, you know, of the statisticians that you plan to sort of highlight and talk about in this session, um, were there any that sort of emerged as a particular favourite, you know, for you, one whose life or career or contributions were particularly impressive uh, and if, if they if they you know if they did strike a call with you why why was that okay so i'm uh, sorry i think this is a really unfair question uh, <laughs> because um you know with with this reflection for me personally it's unearthed some very spine tingling statistical heroes um right. of, of their time you know you you, you mentioned player fit you know they wouldn't be what they did wouldn't now be astonishing but what they did at the time was um and they I suppose, though, again, from when I'm reflecting on my particular talk, the key drivers were definitely Yates and Finney. Um, and, you know, our exploration has unearthed several who've had major ideas much earlier than, than even I, I thought, I must admit. For example, jackknifing was, was much earlier than I, than I thought it emerged. Um, so, I mean, in the end, we... we we hope we hope we'd be able to talk about the emergence of the, the the local RSS Highland Group as well, but actually we 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 realised we were there was too much material and we're going to have to do that actually as um a dedicated it's, it's going to be our 55th anniversary for the group so we're going to do that as a special talk here in Aberdeen itself, um, but in that process um, it, it also emerged that um, uh, David Cox was a constant and, and inspirational visitor up to up here um, right. through the decades you know he was consistent he, he came on a regular basis along with many others too so it's was, it, it was really gratifying to have that support of those absolutely inspirational keystone people yeah and, and I, I really look forward to, to, to seeing what comes of the of the de dedicated meeting that spins out of this conference session I think it's great that you've got so much material that you can develop yeah, into, a, yeah, yeah. A, into another event so yeah um, yeah well hopefully we'll still be able to do it as a, a hybrid you know, and so that other people can join us for that as well. Yeah, that would be fantastic. The local, the local uh, surroundings, yeah. Because, of course, we yeah. cover a wide geographical area. Indeed. Uh, and, and I think generally the I, I find the history of statistics to be particularly fascinating. And in my time working on Significance magazine, I often found that readers similarly were engaged with it. So it's, uh, it's, great, it's a great opportunity to you know, turn a spotlight on, a, on an aspect that people might not be familiar with. So mm. I did uh, my final question for you is, you know, as someone who works as a statistician in the Highlands today, um, you know, what do you feel you might have gained from, you know, looking back at uh, the region's history and the, you know, the things that you've discovered through this process? Yeah, well, I suppose um, as much as, uh, as anything, it, I'm, I've been just flabbergasted. I knew that there was a lot because I, I was handed some material that I sort of had a quick glance through. 
But I, I am absolutely flabbergasted just how this outpost so far from London um, has had so many um, go through its doors who've gone on to then amazing things all over the world. But also the sadness that policies with respect to statistics departments and teams have started that started so supportive is very cyclic. Um, and statisticians are being absorbed into maths and or into silos or small groups. And few of us have real opportunities to really sit and think and have those big ideas. And there are some of us who are, who are very lucky um, to be able to do that. Um, but I suppose one of the pluses of the pandemic is that um, the importance of statisticians and statistics has really come to the public forefront. And that might actually allow history to repeat itself more positively. But, well, that's my hope. Yeah, we can well we can hope so indeed so well thank you very much for giving us uh this brief introduction to the uh whistle stop tour of uh, of statisticians in the highlands so uh, that's at 3 20 p.m on thursday 15th of september and i look forward to to seeing you there good so thank you laura thank you brian okay so the rss international conference 2022 takes place from the 12th to the 15th of september at pnj live aberdeen see rss.org.uk forward slash conference for the full program and details on how to register. Thanks for watching.